A Thousand Miles Up the Nile, Section 71. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Thousand Miles Up the Nile by Amelia B. Edwards. Appendix 2. The Egyptian Pantheon. The deities of ancient Egypt consist of celestial, terrestrial, and infernal gods, and of many inferior personages, either representatives of the greater gods, or else attendants upon them. Most of the gods were connected with the sun, and represented that luminary in its passage through the upper hemisphere, or heaven, and the lower hemisphere, or Hades. To the deities of the solar cycle belonged the great gods of Thebes and Heliopolis. In the local worship of Egypt, the deities were arranged in local triads. Thus, at Memphis, Ptah, his wife Meriem Ptah, and their son nefer -Adam formed a triad, in which was sometimes added the goddess Bast, or Bubastis. At Abydus, the local triad was Osiris, Isis, and Horus, with Nephthys. At Thebes, Amun-Ra, or Amun, Mut, and Khans, with Nieth. At Elephantine, Knef, Anuka, Seti, and Hak. In most instances the names of the gods are Egyptian, thus Ptah meant the opener. Amun, the concealed, Ra, the sun or day, Athor, the house of Horus, but some few, especially of later times, were introduced from Semitic sources as Baal or Baal, Astarata or Astart, Ken or Kion, Respu or Respet. Besides the principal gods, several inferior or parhedral gods, sometimes personifications of the faculties, senses, and other objects, are introduced into the religious system, and genies, spirits, or personified souls of deities formed part of the same. At a period subsequent to their first introduction, the gods were divided into three orders. The first or highest comprised eight deities, who were different in the Memphian and Theban systems. They were supposed to have reigned over Egypt before the time of mortals. The eight gods of the first order at Memphis were 1. Ptah, 2. Shu, 3. Tefnu, 4. Seb, 5. Nut, 6. Osiris, 7. Isis and Horus, 8. Athor. Those of Thebes were 1. Amun-Ra, 2. Mentu, 3. Atum, 4. Shu and Tefnu, 5. Seb, 6. Osiris, 7. Set and Nephthys, 8. Horus and Athor. The gods of the second order were twelve in number, but the name of one only, an Egyptian Hercules, has been preserved. The third order is stated to have comprised Osiris, who, it will be seen, belonged to the first order. Guide to the first and second Egyptian rooms, British Museum, S. Birch, 1874. The gods most commonly represented upon the monuments are Ptah, Kanum, Ra, Amun-Ra, Kem, Osiris, nefer Adam or Tum, Thoth, Seb, Set, Khans, Horus, Mot, Neith, Isis, Nut, Hathor, and Bast. They are distinguished by the following attributes. Ptah, or Ptah, in form a mummy, holding the emblem called by some the Nilometer, by others the emblem of stability, called the father of the beginning, the creator of the egg of the sun and moon, chief deity of Memphis. Knef, Knum, or Knufis, ram-headed, called the maker of gods and men, the soul of the gods, chief deity of Elephantine and the cataracts. Ra, hawk-headed and crowned with the sun disk encircled by an asp, the divine disposer and organizer of the world, adored throughout Egypt. Amun-Ra, of human form, crowned with a flat-topped cap and two long straight plumes, clothed in the shenty, his flesh sometimes painted blue. There are various forms of this god, but he is mostly, generally described as king of the gods, chief deity of Thebes. Kem, of human form mummified, wears headdress of Amun-Ra, his right hand uplifted, holding the flail. The god of productiveness and generation. Chief deity of Chemnus or Ekmim. 
is identified in later times with Amun and called Amun Kem. Osiris, of human form, mummified, crowned with a meter and holding the flail and crook, called the good being, the Lord above all, the one Lord, was the god of the lower world, judge of the dead, and representative of the sun below the horizon, adored throughout Egypt, local deity of Abydos. Nefer Autumn, human-headed and crowned with the shent, this god represented the setting sun, or the sun descending to light the lower world, local deity of Heliopolis. Thoth, in form a man, ibis-headed, generally depicted with the pen and palette of a scribe, was the god of the moon and of letters, local deity of Sesun or Homopolis. Seb, the father of the gods and deity of terrestrial vegetation, in form a man with a goose upon his head. Set, represented by a symbolic animal with muzzle and ears like a jackal, the body of an ass and an upright tail like the tail of a lion, was originally a warlike god and became in later times the symbol of evil and the enemy of Osiris. Cons, hawk-headed, crowned with the sun disk and horns, is represented sometimes as a youth with the sidelock standing on a crocodile. Horus. Horus appears variously as Horus, Horus Erodes, and Horus Harpacret, Harpacrates, or Horus the Child, is represented under the first two forms as a man, hawk-headed, wearing the double crown of Egypt, in the latter as a child with the sidelock. Local deity of Edfu, Apollonopolis Magna. Mot, a woman draped and crowned with the shent, generally with a cat below the shent representing a vulture, adored at Thebes. Neath, a woman draped, holding sometimes a bow and arrows, crowned with the crown of Lower Egypt. She presided over war and the loom, worshipped at Thebes. Isis, a woman crowned with the sun disk, surmounted by a throne and sometimes enclosed between horns, adored at Abydos and Philae. Her soul resided in Sothis, or the Dog Star. Nut, a woman curved so as to touch the ground with her fingers. She represents the vault of heaven and is the mother of the gods. Hathor, cow-headed and crowned with the disc and plumes, deity of Amenti, or the Egyptian Hades, worshipped at Dendera. Bast and Sekhet, Bast and Sekhet appear to be two forms of the same goddess. As Seket she is represented as a woman, lion-headed, with the disc and uraeus, as Bast she is cat-headed and holds a sistrum, adored at Bubastis. End of section 71